Does this look familiar? <laughs> if you watched the video with the uh, forged receipts, uh, we're going to go do an inspection on this rental. Um, they have indicated to me more or less it's done. There's a little bit of materials in here and uh, we'll go take a look at the condition. Now for reference, I had probably a thousand nasty messages. I don't own this. This looks like it's part of mine, but they actually built a breezeway here because someone homeless set a fire like 30 or 40 years ago and to get back at them, they built an annex on here. So there's like a two or three foot gap between this structure, which I do not own. They want 55,000 for it, which <laughs> I paid 30, 30,000 for this whole thing. This is mine. Uh, so I wanted to clear that up before uh, we got in here. So I'm not responsible for that. So this is mine. Um, it's the reality of what I have um, today is the first part of April. And if you remember the walkthrough video of the forged receipt eviction was mid January. So it's taken uh, two and a half months to get to this point, which is unbelievably long. Should not have taken this long. Um, unfortunately, the balusters, I think that's the name of these things right here, they got thrown out. So we are in the process of trying to find these. It's actually a really solid um, handrail here. I'm trying to shake it. It's really not too bad, but uh, they got thrown out for some reason. Um, we put LVT in almost the whole thing. They redid the ceiling and uh, they didn't stomp it. That's cool. So, you know, um, you get a... It's, you know, how they have like six panel doors. This is a two panel ceiling. Some of it's textured, some of it isn't, but no one will notice. I mean, obviously I didn't notice it. Uh, one funny thing is, and we had two separate HVAC guys make mention of the old furnace that was here that it was totally screwed up. What's amazing is they stole parts off of the old furnace. So when on the surface, the, to me, you know, I don't do HVAC, but uh, to me, it looked like the old furnace was in okay condition. We tried to get it fired up for um, the winter because it was cold. And there were stolen parts on it. And to fix the old furnace is going to be $350. This is a Goodman furnace. We put them in almost every rental that I have. It's a 96.1% efficient furnace. Um, this has the variable. In, it's like a variable induction motor on it. So it's really high efficiency. I think I paid $650, $750 for it. But we put these in almost everything and it saves a ton on utility bills because I would much rather have a tenant paying me rent than a heating company, um, a bunch of utility bills. So here is the room. And of course it's dirty. I got to get my cleaning crew in here. Um, but we redid all the floors. If you remember, they were just an absolute disaster. We've put in two, two brand new windows here, uh, for better or worse. They were, this one was broken out and glass everywhere. Um, so we put two new windows in, um, I think, I think at least two new windows. So we put two new windows in, we kept the door over here. Um, there's where the dryer was. Um, <laughs> that was not the utility. I don't know why they had a dryer in there with Bibles in it, but they did. Um, didn't do much to that closet. Kind of looks like crap, but oh well. Um, so this, I, I'd have to look and see how much money I have in it, but we're around between four and five thousand dollars at this point, I think. Um, the LVT alone was fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars. Um, it looks like it was mismeasured because I've got a lot of extras, but uh, both my buddy and I, Sean, have decided to go with this type of sh shawl resilient. Uh, luxury vinyl tile. It, it's worked real well for us. So this is going to be the standard, at least that I hope, that goes in everything. Um, so the flooring uh, with labor was probably the most expensive thing. I probably have twenty to fifty in it or so. A lot of these walls had to be painted. We thought that we were going to go with something like um, shiplap, but uh, I was uh, informed wrong. I had this whole thing on our Facebook community post, but we didn't do that. Uh, we bought a new door. That's like 60 or $70, a new light, um, new commode, new sink. Um, they had to do some boxing here. The shower is still dirty and crappy, but uh, my cleaning person, I think, can get it fixed. Um, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. These were on sale from Lowe's for 100 bucks. I can't remember if I used my uh, Lowe's hack to get this, but 
I ended up getting 25% off the, the flooring here. Um, we'll post a link to a video on how I did that by stacking rewards and buying gift cards at a discount off face value. There was a utility room here. We had to remove it. Um, it was just not safe. What had happened before was the washer was set up. The drain system on the washer over here is done so poorly that it was actually getting moisture and water on the box. So unfortunately we had to uh, just remove the washer and dryer. We'll have to use my competitor's laundromat. Um, we did a new countertop. This is from Menards. This is from Lowe's. We just used unfinished. Lowe's had a sale on these cabinets here. Um, the cabinets and countertop were about $400 plus labor. The floor underneath this, all of the, the subflooring under there was completely rotted out. They had a drain, a leak, a drain issue, I want to say, and they tried to fix it with regular rubberized caulking. It didn't work. Surprise. And it just totally, totally screwed up. Um, this is where the attic was that they were doing some uh, shady potential things up there. And um, they fixed all of the wiring garbage up there. So that's, that's that. So we use a crap load of paint. We normally use Sherwin-Williams. They've been good to us um, on our commercial account. Um, I can't think of too much else. We They put this door in here. I think it was, I don't think it was here earlier. That looks like crap. But the rest of the apartment in my eyes looks pretty decent. I'm trying to get a little more rent off of it. It was originally a $300 apartment, so I'm hoping to ask a little more. Obviously, there's some more things to button up, but I wanted to get an update before um, we were trying to get this done. I had to come out and throw a lockbox on it so the cleaning people here over else can get out here and, you know, clean some things up. They had to repaint the ceiling. Um, looks pretty good. We need to put a fan in there. But uh, everybody's been asking me where the this property was and unfortunately it's just the problem that I've been having as a landlord uh, getting my maintenance requests done in an efficient manner um, at 140 rentals I probably I've, I've overbought to be honest with you guys um, I'm at a point now I can't manage what I have and run a YouTube channel and the laundromats at the same time so we brought on management help and they are kicking butt um, this is probably the second or the third person I've tried to help get on board and help me and now they're it's working really really well but it's one of those things with this um with the virus thing that's going around that i can't say because i get totally demonetized um with the, that situation that's occurring right now what's happened is i've lost rent income <laughs> i've had people move out that i didn't expect to and we're at this point where I'm not financially broke, but it's given me pause to sit down and look at the efficiencies of the business and the efficiencies are terrible. Um, this took two and a half months to get done, which it shouldn't have. It should have been done in two weeks. And, I, and, and it's one of those things where I've been using work crews um, to do multiple jobs and it's my problem, my mistake as a manager, landlord, investor, was right instead of just hiring a crew paying them a whole bunch of money to fix it up i've been having people that i've worked with on a, uh, a longer basis say hey go from this job to this job to this job and it's just it you know the buck stops with me as the owner of the company which sucks um so we've wasted a lot of money on hopping from job to job to job and the systems that i have in place or i thought i had in place just haven't worked like i had hoped they are um, so at some point we'll get all these things fixed so then I can go and expand the company because at 140 rentals, if I'd be honest, I probably have like 30 or 40 too many uh, because I've still got to get the trailer park up and running and get that all figured out uh, because we still have problems down there. I mean, the trailers are getting installed, which is nice, but then we have these kinds of problems with this apartment complex or this duplex here um, and it should have been done two months ago and it wasn't. <laughs> which cost me money at that five, let's say four fifth four hundred fifty dollars a month I've lost two months worth of rent income and 
uh, that's nine hundred dollars that I lost, and it, you know I could have paid f an extra five hundred dollars to a quicker contractor maybe, and do it. The the work, you know, you guys be the judge whether the work was done as to quality or not. I think it looks okay. It looks a heck of a lot better than it was, but at two and a half months, it's just one of those things where we I need to get things tightened up, more efficient, um, so the company can make more money, so then I can sock away more money for the next epidemic or the next recession or whatever. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel because I've continued to haul my phone around as I run the company um, hopefully as I make a lot more money than I do right now um, I, during the epidemic I've kind of made a decision where I won't pay myself anything um, rent money which uh, was to, is to kind of help out my tenants but you know my my salary is a drop in the bucket compared to everything else uh, keeping my contractors and workers paid is priority number one well Priority number one is my mortgage. Just the contractors and workers are number two. Um, be sure to sign up to Webull. If you have ever desired to make money in the stock market, please go to the description below and uh, sign up to Webull. You can get two free stocks, and they're worth anywhere between seven and fifteen hundred dollars. Um, I've had two users now that have signed up to Webull, and they've got. I think one guy got two hundred dollars worth of stock. Another guy uh, got up to three hundred dollars worth of stock. And if you go on Discord, you can talk to those guys because it's not a gimmick. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every single one of you.